Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Stephen Gilbert on the line, and he's Senior VP over at Universal Financial Consultants. Steve, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Adam. Thanks for having me. Oh, man, so I'm excited to get into today's topic. So tax-free retirement income, a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, executives listening, and uh, who wouldn't want more tax-free retirement income in retirement? Um, so we're going to get into that. Um, but before we do, let's talk a little bit more about what you're doing over at Universal Financial Consultants. Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Well, we've been in business for over 30 years, and we deal with uh, individuals, family offices, people saving for retirement and estate planning as well. And we also service the financial planning industry where we're approved in Raymond James, UBS, Wells Fargo. So if they have a client that wants a little something more than just stocks and bonds and they want something safe, uh, they'll come to us. We have a big back office of about 32 statisticians that put together plans for people, uh, taking a look at what they're currently doing, and then planning at the end for tax-free income. I love it. And um and what I like is that you're a specialist. So meaning uh, as I as I talked to you in the pre-show, we um you know, I was in the business for a long time and when I was in the business, you know, one financial advisor can't do it all. There's so many different nuances and it's not about replacing an advisor or anything like that. It's about complementing a financial plan and uh, and diversifying an overall portfolio. So I love what you guys are doing and I think that's also a great transition. Um so let's get further into it. So tax-free retirement income. Uh talk to me, Steve. Well, there's there. If you take a look at the at the current environment and the environment we've been in for many years, the uh, when you take a look at our budget deficit, which is they say over 20 billion a trillion, it's actually close to 130 trillion. Uh, if they take uh, into consideration unfunded liabilities like Social Security and Medicare, so mm -hmm. we're actually in a very low tax situation right now. The average tax rate from the beginning 2000, uh, to um, uh, 1913 was about 58%. So we think tax rates have to go up. And the traditional plan uh, is going into a 401k and IRA, which can save you money right now on your taxes, but you'll probably pay four times the amount in taxes once you retire because you're going to have all that money coming out and it's going to be taxable. So the traditional ways of tax-free income are municipal bonds, which <coughs> unfortunately you have to go out 20, 30 years to get a decent return of 4 or 5%. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, also Roth IRAs, which we also take a look at. We'll take a look at a client's IRA or 401k and determine whether they should transfer some of that over time into a Roth to take tax-free income. But the problem with the tax-free income when you go into a Roth is that if you go back into the market and, the, and you pay 30 or 40 percent in taxes to, to turn it into a Roth, and then you lose 20 or 30 percent, it defeats the whole purpose. So our strategies are using indexes, and we love indexes like the S&P and so forth because they've outperformed 85 percent of all money managers out there. So what we do is we go into the indexes underneath the umbrella, believe it or not, of an insurance company, not your traditional type of insurance that you put the smallest amount in for the highest death benefit. We put in the most amount of cash the government will allow us with the lowest death benefit to keep the cost down. And then we have indexes, about 14 of them, from the S&P 500 that has a cap right now of 11 and three quarters, which means that the market goes up 15, you're not getting 15, you're getting 11 and three quarters. But if the market goes down, you have a zero. So there's no downside with the, with the participation in the market. We have another index in there, which is the Bloomberg, which is a phenomenal index because what they do is they use algorithms. And as the markets are going up, they keep you in the S&P 500. As it goes down, they don't call me, they don't call you. It automatically shifts into bonds. So during this period of time, let's say in 2020, where the market's down you know, 20, 30%, 
our accounts have already locked in around third, eight and a half to thirteen percent because they've they've shifted the money into bonds. To me, that's really professional money management, but it's tax free because it's growing tax free. And as long as you have five to ten years to put money away for retirement, because the the government makes us fund this over a five to seven year period to take out tax free income. So it's one of the best strategies. And I've been in the business over thirty years also. Um, with um, with uh, brokerage firms and uh, was with Morgan Stanley, and this is the best strategy I've ever seen in my career. Yeah, and one of the things that I um, that I just want to kind of circle back to that you mentioned is that, and I, I used to call it the tax time bomb. So it's coming. I mean, it's coming. And right. I and I have this when I'd have I'd have clients that were at different points in their life, and you know when I had those younger clients who wanted that they wanted that tax break, and they're like, how about we we need that now? We need this, and I'm like, but you're in your lowest tax bracket that you'll ever be in your life. You're a hard, you're a high income earner. You do that now, this is what it's going to look like when you go into retirement. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal right now, but I have 70 year old and 80 year old or 72 and a half or 74 year old clients, I should say, that are taking required minimum distributions that are getting slaughtered and they don't even need the money, but you have to do it because they're going to make you take it out. And guess what? You're going to have a huge tax liability for no reason. You can alleviate that right now by thinking about different ways to um, plan, which I think your route is a great way to plan to make sure that that tax time bomb um, doesn't catch you because it's going to catch you 100%. And one of the things Things that I always like to say is that the other part of this is that we don't know what's going to change, right? I would have people always say things can't happen, right? And the thing is, is think about what they just did to the or I shouldn't say just did a little while back on uh, inherited IRAs. So who knows what Roth rules are going to look like in the future? We don't know. Like they they changed inherited IRAs for people and their distributions after what? I think that might have been 20 years of precedent of the the product being around. It might have been there longer. I don't know. Um, but it was there for quite some time, and I know that thousands, tens of thousands of plans were done with that type of planning. So when you think about the products that you're offering and what you're doing, it's, uh, to me, it's a definitely like alternative that people should be considering. Exactly. And what we'll do is we, we, will, we have um, software that compares putting money into an IRA or a 401K, and we normally recommend if a company is putting in 3% and matching, just put up to the three percent and get the free money. Yeah, yeah the get rest, the free money. Get the free money exactly. for sure. That's hundred hundred percent. You're good. <laughs> yeah, and then we do an analysis to show alternatives if they can uh, if they go into one of our strategies of having the tax free income that's protected. Because I agree with you. you, things will change, and they just stopped as you said in December of nineteen. They stopped Man, the that's stretch that's inherited IRA now. And, crazy. But that's what they're going to attack each and every year. Yeah, it's crazy to me. And just thinking about when they stop that stretch inherited IRA, it's just common sense. Like, what if if you really think about um, government and what's next? Like, what's that next tax thing that's on the table that it's like, oh, there's a lot of money there that's sitting there that we haven't taxed. And, uh, oh, like, if you think about it, and as those Roth assets increase, I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but they set the precedent with that inherited IRA. And the fact that people didn't fight that and that was allowed to happen – and that people right. were kind of taught, and, and people were kind of taught, or and or told that only the wealthy would be affected. They're not the ones affected. They can do other tax planning. They can do other investment planning. That's not going to be an issue for them. It's going to be an issue for the person with fifty thousand or a hundred thousand that their mother left them or their grandfather left them, and now they can't they can't use that as a long term legacy planning because they're going to have to take it out. Exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. So Steve, um, that being said, I can I can talk to you about this all day long. You know, once we get going, it's gonna get good. But uh, we're about out of time here. So that being said, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Universal Financial Consultants or to learn more about your strategies, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? Well, there's a there's a couple ways. They can call the office at three zero five seven two three nineteen fifty six or at s dot gilbert at UFC Uncle Frank Charlie dot B Z Boy Zebra. And we'll do um as long as they're nice because we only work with nice people, we'll do a free analysis for them on That's their awesome. current situation and and see if there's any of these strategies are applicable to them. Or, and if they're not, we can send them other places that you know, if we're not the type of uh, firm for their uh for their fit. 
Awesome. Well, hey, Steve, it's been great having you on the show today. Thank you for sharing more about what you're doing over at Universal Financial Consultants and uh, how people can start thinking about and planning for tax-free retirement income. So all great stuff there. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give us a, a subscribe there, but also leave some comments in the video. I'd love to know what kind of projects and things you're working on. Let's, uh, let the, let's keep the conversation going over in our YouTube community. And Steve, thanks again for coming on the show.